in this current age, do you see more students with this raw talent wanting to what they call hack it and, and jump over all the time that it takes to put in because we're in this, it, it just feels faster and faster every day. And maybe that's because I'm getting older, so it seems faster to me. But do you see that more now or no? It's well, every, uh, every writer uh, wants to jump over everything always, as, uh, including myself. I don't consider myself to be a terribly important writer, although I, I'm a much experienced one. The Wall Street Journal calls me a writer of substantial professional experience. And I have done a lot of work uh, in screen, but not only in screen, I'm also uh, the author of uh, best-selling fiction and nonfiction, And I've also written um, uh, short films uh, you know, commercials, uh, propag corporate propaganda, um, sales films, films, f uh, instructional educational films. Um, the uh, uh, so I'm hugely experienced, and yet I still want to jump over <laughs> all of the requirements. But every time I try to do that, I realize I can't. That it just takes time, and you have to give it the time, and that's the most difficult part of it um, because after all time is what your life is is made up of and uh, I mean time is like the currency of life if somebody wastes my time um, I feel they've killed me a little bit you know they've taken part of my life away and um, uh, that's what art wants it wants your life you have to you better be, be ready to give your life to this if you want to be a, a screenwriter it sounds cynical and dark, but I mean it the opposite way. I can't imagine a, a, a more wonderful thing to give a life to than creative expression. Um, imagine uh, people who do succeed as writers, they're literally uh, swapping their daydreams for dollars. They're, they're trafficking in their own imagination. What could be more wonderful than that? Uh, I think it's cause to, to rejoice, not to despair, but, but to rejoice.